Jeremy Clarkson says he's screwed on Diddley Squat Farm as he struggles with profits. Jeremy Clarkson has lamented that farmers like himself are screwed as subsidy cuts and pressure from environmentalists have left them unable to make a living wage from growing food. Jeremy Clarkson took on eco-protesters in a passionate rant during which he declared that today's farmers are screwed. The Green Movement has come along and announced that it's bad for the upper atmosphere to grow food and we must all stop, he exclaimed. And because modern politicians have all become enslaved by idiotic left-leaning pressure groups, they've nodded, said OK, and decided to cut farming subsidies to the bone. Talking in his column for The Times, he warned that the current situation means Europe's farmers are screwed. They can't make anything approximating to a living wage without government help. And they can't put up prices because the supermarket system doesn't allow it, he lamented. The 63-year-old added that farmers don't fare much better in supplying meat to fast food chains like McDonald's either. How much of the four it charges for a Big Mac goes to the farmers who grew the cows and the potatoes and the flour and the tomatoes and whatever it is McDonald's puts in that delicious sauce? Not much, he warned. Jeremy reviewed how the protest movement has gathered pace in Europe, starting in Belgium, before heading to countries like the Netherlands and Germany. The admiring Clarkson's farm star marveled that angry farmers blockaded Berlin even more effectively than the Russians did, pointing out that many rural Autobahn slip roads ended up blocked by tractors. This isn't the first time that Jeremy has raised the issue of how farmers have been struggling, the former Top Gear and who wants to be a millionaire. Host had always known that farming was going to be a challenge, even with experienced sidekick Caleb Cooper around to help. However, he wasn't ready for the harsh reality of making just 114 in profit in his Oxfordshire farm's first year. He's also revealed that selling up has crossed his mind in the past, as he worries that using his farm solely to grow food won't earn him enough. In excerpts from his latest book, Pigs Might Fly, he revealed, This morning I decided to plant my game covers with mustard to suppress weed growth. It's my last roll of the dice, my last chance to make something, anything, work. And if it doesn't, I don't even 